Today, you're going to learn how to boost the visibility of your Google business profile fast by focusing on two of the key ranking factors Google uses to rank your business listing on Google Maps and the Google Map Pack. These ranking factors are mostly overlooked by small business owners and yet only take minutes to implement. I'm going to show you how to get the full benefit from them right now. Let's look at the first one, additional business categories. When you initially set up your Google listing profile, you were asked to choose a business category, also known as your primary category. Choosing the right primary category is extremely important as according to the 2023 Local Ranking Factor Survey, it is the number one Google business profile ranking factor. While for most of you picking a primary category is straightforward, many of you overlook the fact you can also add up to nine additional business categories to your listing. And guess what? These additional categories also directly impact how well your listing ranks when people search for keywords related to them. Let's say you own a beauty salon, for example. You most likely selected beauty salon as your primary business category. But like most beauty salons, you probably offer a wide variety of treatments such as waxing, manicure, and so on. Adding these as secondary categories to your listing will directly impact how well your listing ranks when people search for eyebrow waxing near me or French manicure near me, for example. In summary, if you don't include additional categories to your listing, it will simply not rank as well as it should on Google Maps and you might not get as many potential customers as you could. The tricky part is there are more than 4,000 categories to choose from, so how do you know which one to pick? Easy. All you need to do is download a Chrome extension called GMB Everywhere. I've put the link in the description below. Once you've downloaded and installed the extension, head over to Google Maps and search for your business using your name and address. Let's stick with our beauty salon example. In just a few seconds, GMB Everywhere gives you some tools you can use to audit not only your listing, but also analyze your competitors' listings if you want. But that's a topic for a different video. Right now, we're focusing on categories. With GMB Everywhere, you'll see what categories a business is using. In the example we're looking at, the business picked only one main category, beauty salon, which we've established is not optimum. If we check a listing from their competition, GMB Everywhere shows they also chose two extra categories along with Beauty Salon. This makes them more likely to show up higher when people search for keywords related to those categories. Checking what extra categories your competitors have in their listings so you can add them to your own isn't a bad idea. However, there are a few issues with this approach. A, it might take up a lot of your time. B, your competitors might have included categories that don't really fit your business, so you'll need to sort through them. C, they could have missed adding some relevant categories themselves. Instead, just click on the Find More button next to the Category feature on your listing. This will open a new window called the Category Finder tool. The top field will show the categories already listed on your listing. Right under, you'll see a section called Related Categories, which is a list of additional categories that could potentially be relevant to your existing ones. Go through the list to find out what additional categories you could add to your listing and click on the suitable ones. The numbers next to a category shows how often people search for that category on Google worldwide every month. This can be quite helpful to help you decide which category to pick. As you add more categories, the list will continue to expand and provide more relevant suggestions. If, by a twist of fate, you can't find any additional relevant categories, you can search through them directly in the main field. Once you're done, log into your Google Business Profile. Click on the Edit Info icon, and from the pop-up window, click on Business Category. From there, you'll be able to add the list of additional categories you have found using GMB Everywhere to your own listing. Remember, you can add up to nine maximum. Don't add categories that are not relevant to your business in the hope you'll rank for them. It's very bad practice and may infuriate potential customers. Google might also remove them automatically. This short process will help you find the most relevant categories for your business in the fastest possible way and make your listing pop up on Google Maps for a lot more keywords almost overnight. Time to move on to the second ranking factor most of you overlook, suggested services. Depending on your Google business profile and the type of business you run, you might be able to show the services you offer on your listing. This includes a description of the services and how much they cost. But unfortunately, these services won't appear on your listing when people look at them on a regular computer. 
They can only be seen in the service section if people check your listing on their phones. But despite their limited visibility, services offer one big advantage. They can make your business show up higher in Google search results, both on desktop computers and mobiles, and most business owners don't know that. This is because only up to a few months ago, services didn't have much of an impact on how well your listing ranks. But it's now all changed. When you add business categories to your listing, Google will suggest a list of services for you to consider including. These suggestions are based on the categories you picked. If you add these services to your listing, it will help you rank in search results for keywords related to those services. Joy Hawkins, owner and founder of Sterling Sky, a local SEO agency, was one of the first to recognize this. After adding suggested services to some of her clients listings, she noticed a significant rise in rankings for keywords related to those newly added services. Darren Shaw, owner of the local SEO agency Whitespark, conducted a similar test and noticed similar results. The good news is that it's super simple to add these services to your listing. The process can be completed in just a few clicks. Here is how. On the desktop computer, log into your Google Business Profile with your Google account. If you have access to the Services option, you'll find it under your Google Business Profile Management interface under the Edit Services options. Just click on it. A pop-up window will appear. You might see a message at the top indicating recent changes to services, which Google auto-updates from time to time. Review these changes and either edit them or click on OK. You should now see a list that is broken down by categories. Under each category, you'll find a list of existing services. To add more services, click on the Add More Services link. A new pop-up window will display additional suggested services. Click the plus button next to relevant services and save your changes. If you carefully monitor your ranking performance, your listing should start ranking for keywords related to the service you've just added within 24 to 72 hours. Bear in mind that the suggested services might be different for each type of business. In some cases, you might not see any suggestions, but Google adds new ones regularly, so it's a good idea to check every so often. These suggested services are also a great source of content ideas for your website. If Google thinks these services align with your business and you actually provide them, consider creating dedicated pages for them on your website. It will help your business show up for even more searches. That's it for today, guys. All in all, it should be a matter of minutes for you to complete these two tasks and well worth the few clicks required to execute them. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to smash the like button. And until next time, happy marketing.